those who are criminals. I'm not calling anybody innocent. Those who are, they deserved death. He may be a celebrated general of the Uganda People's Defense Forces, but to some people in Kasese district, Lieutenant General Peter Erweru has opened healing wounds for many who lost their loved ones in November 2016. Uganda is peaceful because of uh, my actions. And Kasese is very peaceful. They are doing very well. Do you hear any problems in Kasese again? All is quiet. All is quiet because of uh, my judgment. The government of Uganda still owes an apology to the people of Kasese for having excessively killed our people. Such a person who is a member of parliament, who is a senior officer in the army, makes such reckless statement publicly that the people of Kasese deserve to die. Why should we be provoked time and again? We, as Banyorendu, have moved along the mountain preaching peace, asking the former royal guards to settle down, not to disturb anymore. I know those hor horrific images are still haunting him. Many of us are still getting shocks. And the more we talk about it positively, the more we heal. I think General Elweru needs to speak to a counselor. Elweru commanded the raid on the palace of the King of Renzuru, Charles Wesley Mumbeli, which left 153 people dead. Speaking after he was sworn in in parliament yesterday, Eweru showed no remorse for his actions. I know I'm a judge of my own during my uh, work. I, I understand. I understand what I do. I know what I do. <laughs> we, we shall meet in parliament. <laughs> the human rights defenders have cautioned the soldier. Now his admission and of course his actions attract legal consequences. He's liable for the blood that was shed, but also he's liable for prosecution. General needs to be aware that when people are executed extrajudicially, there is legal liability that arises. That whereas he enjoys protection of the state at the moment, at any one time, he can be prosecuted. How can someone, a leader, say this? It is baffling and it's very shocking. Interestingly, Uganda last executed someone in 1998. That's when I remember the last executed someone, meaning that even up to now, we don't use the death penalty as a punishment anymore. For even every heinous crime. So what are the people in Kasese that were shot down, done to deserve such quick justice? Even ICC said to me free said, you have no case to answer. So what are you talking about? It also commented on the recent US visa restrictions on Ugandan government officials. If they have something called that, to hell with them. The point is, what are they sanctioning you for? What did you do and how do these sanctions affect all Ugandans? You are not just the only Ugandan. The human rights defenders want the director of public prosecution to investigate and take action. He must not think that at any one time the law will forgive him unless he's tried and found not to have committed a crime. Eroru's statement comes nearly two years after he opened a church and preached unity and reconciliation. We have continued to do all sorts of things. Yes. Eroru is one of the ten army representatives in the 11th parliament. Jingo Francis, NTV.